Hey guys! Today we're making a classic Chef Steph recipe. That's right. It's one pot pumpkin pasta with chicken. It's made with only five main ingredients and will cost you less than three dollars a serving. So, so let's, let's get started. Get started. <laughs> to start, we're going to dice half of yellow onion and chop about a handful of parsley. Next, we're going to dice up 600 grams of chicken breast. Now we're going to cook up the chicken and then take it out of the pan. So first, you're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. Once the oil is hot, add in the onions and saute for about a minute. Now add in the chicken. Add in the salt and pepper. Mix together, then spread the chicken out and let it sit and cook. Once the chicken has cooked for about five minutes, you're gonna turn off the heat and add a little bit of the parsley. That's a lot of it. Give it one final stir, and then you're gonna set it aside for later. Mmm, look at those juices. Put your heat back on, and in the same pan, add another two tablespoons of olive oil our beautiful star ingredient of pumpkin, mm. pumpkin, water, teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg, or whatever pumpkin-y type spice you have. Stir it all together. And now you're gonna add in the pasta, raw pasta. Ooh. Cover and bring to a boil. Today we're using a high protein pasta. There are lots of them on the market now, but you can use whatever type of pasta you'd like. If you check in the macros in the description box below, we'll leave the macros with this high protein pasta and the whole dish, and we'll leave the macros with just the chicken and the pumpkin so that you can add whichever type of pasta you'd like. Once the pasta is boiling, you're gonna give it a stir. Mmm, oh my god, it smells so good. And then you're gonna turn your flame all the way down, cover with a lid, and let it simmer. Every two minutes or so, Ooh. come give it a stir, or else it sticks to the bottom. Oh, that's so good. Ooh, buddy, it's looking whoa, like whoa, it's whoa, almost. Whoa. Steam, bro. Everyone blow. Everyone go, blow. On the pasta. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is it looks like it's pretty much done, so I'm just gonna try one, but be careful because obviously it's boiling and it's super hot. Get it. <laughs> Go get it. Mmm. Delish. So good. Now, all pastas are kind of different. So if you if your pasta is still a little bit hard, but it looks like the sauce is ready to go. You might want to add just a little bit more pasta, literally like an eighth of a cup, and just keep kind of like working from there because if it's not fully cooked yet, but it looks like the sauce is ready to go, just keep adding a little bit of water until your pasta is fully cooked. Unless you're going to be reheating it a lot, then you don't really need to keep adding water because it'll be reheated and cooked when you reheat it. Now that your pasta is done, you can see it's made a beautiful sauce. We're just going to add back in the chicken from before. Of all those nice juices. Look at those juices. Mmm. Give it a quick stir and you're good to go. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Chicky, you okay? What's up? You okay? What's up? You okay? Say hi to YouTubes. Hi to YouTubes. Say hi. Say hi. Okay, bye. Divide the chicken and pasta evenly among the containers. Finish by garnishing with some fresh parsley. Easy as that, guys. This whole recipe will take you less than 20 minutes to make. That's right. Now, this one's a bit more higher in carb, so we'll leave a link in the description box below to our low carb playlist. Don't forget when you make this recipe to post it on social media using the hashtag FitCoupleCooks and tag us at FitCoupleCooks. Have a great week, guys. Bye. Bye. Namaste.